Hello, Christina Resso. Thanks for tuning into this video. Hope you all are doing well. Don't get to like and subscribe and share with your friends. So uh, this week uh, is supposed to be the last week of October. Also, uh, uh, the with this uh, after the hump Wednesday, with trunk or treat uh, occurring at the church that I usually attend. Um, today is officially Halloween or the night when people really do their dirt. Kids dressing up, including at work. A lot of people were dressed up, um, you know, walking around in pagan outfits because that's what they really are. Pagan outfits and um, uh, carrying around the little bags and collecting sugar. So, um, yeah, it's again, it's uh, as I mentioned before when I did my recent on uh, Witchcraft Disney, this is the biggest holiday the second biggest after Christmas unfortunately amongst a lot of Christians two things come to mind because um, uh, if you are a Christian listening to this uh, and you do par partake in Halloween I'm not going to question your salvation on this uh, I don't understand why because as one ex-Satanist says um, witches and um, Satanists will never partake communion during Christmas is in Easter with us so um, that but that that again that's my take on it um, because it is a holiday of darkness unfortunately um, even at, during the history of this so-called holiday um, trunk or treat in the farm fest harvest fest whatever they have at churches um, I can understand their intent is to reach out to the community and share the gospel, but a lot of times, um, a lot of churches don't do that because they don't want to offend, offend. Well, for one thing, the gospel is offensive, despite of how nicely you frame it, <laughs> because the cross is offensive to people that are perishing, who wants to be called a sinner on their way to hell without the salvation in Christ alone. Who was born of a virgin, fully God, fully man, um, through the power of the Holy Spirit, and throughout his ministry lived a sinless life, was uh, mocked and betrayed, um, experienced a brutal death, every sin that we've ever committed, lust, theft, um, Gluttony, even though the uh, Christians don't really point that out, jealousy, envy, lying, etc. All the other sins that you can name, because again, a lot of Christians just not name the big ones. They they may say fornication, adultery, and some may say uh, drunkenness or substance abuse, but they'll never say gluttony, which is also a sin as well. That's why we shouldn't over eat at night and we not only have difficulty sleeping but um and unfortunately sometimes nightmares e even appear so um and i experienced enough spiritual warfare myself not to even again i digress and partake in so um the gospel the complete um died on he died on the cross jesus and buried resurrected on the third day and he sits at the right hand of the father so um yes that that's going to be offensive to people because the why the road is why that will lead most people to hell because a lot of people have this pride to do their own thing again who wants to be called a sinner and saying um the first thing you know people say i'm good you know that's why the real sins out there because uh we're not we're since the fall of adam we're um fallen beings and before my last breath, um, I'm grateful for using this platform and my radio and in the process of getting a book published to um, share God's word until my last breath, until he t takes me home or his return. All I can say is please be careful out there. Um, the, again, people will use this night for their evil um, instead of good. Uh, if you're going to, um, I wouldn't recommend parties either, but 
I think that was all this past weekend where they had a lot of stuff. You go into uh, these creepy haunted houses, give you a heads up, including the one in the town I'm living in. You got to sign a waiver. So if something happens to you or you have heart problems, uh, they're not responsible for that. And um, especially if you're a Christian going to one of that, again, I don't understand that because that's still a dark <clears throat> activity and you have no idea the people that are dressed up who's behind there and they're dressed up at, into the scariest characters including clowns uh, no clowns are not friendly to me sorry I mean uh, the only clown I wasn't afraid of was Bozo growing up but other than that I, no I can't trust no, no clown if it's a small child okay but an adult dressed up in small with that after that pandemic with this clown. I was living in New York at the time. No. no. So uh, that's all that I have on my heart um, this evening. Again, please be safe. This is Christina Red Soul. May the Lord bless you, keep you, and may his light shine upon you. And uh, don't forget to pray for our nation, our persecuted church, and our um, and eventually that it, all of Israel in the Middle East gets saved. Talk to you as soon as the Lord wills it.